Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the commencement exercise for the class of 2019 of Gallatin High School West. We ask for your help and cooperation in making this a most memorable evening for our young people. Please refrain from any actions or activity that would be distracting from this very formal and dignified ceremony. At the conclusion of the ceremony, we ask that you remain in the stands until the class is recessed out of Kottmeyer Stadium. The gates nearest the graduates will be locked until after they have exited the stadium. The gates by the soccer fields on the visitor side and the gates by the water plant on the home side will be opened. Any individual feeling the effects of the heat and who needs assistance should exit the stadium through the bleacher tunnel at the 50 yard line of the home side. If you're able, we ask that you please remain standing during the procession, the Star Spangled Banner, and the alma mater. Thank you for your presence and enjoy our ceremony.
You may be seated. Good evening, and welcome to the 138th Annual Commencement Ceremonies of the Downingtown Area School District and our 16th graduation as Downingtown West High School. I would like to extend a special welcome to the parents, grandparents, and extended family members who are here with us this evening. I would also like to acknowledge and welcome our superintendent, Dr. Emily Lenardi, board of school directors, district administration, our faculty and staff here at West, and those joining us tonight from DMS and our West Elementary Schools. You have all invested countless hours into guiding our seniors through their years here in Downingtown, and we thank you for being here with us tonight. And finally, I welcome you, the class of 2019. Our first graduation speaker this evening is a student council co-president and an active member of the National Honor Society. She has taken nine AP courses, 11 honors courses, and throughout her career, she has become an avid reader and an accomplished artist. In the fall, she will be attending Temple University, where she plans to major in neuroscience and conduct research to learn more about genetic diseases. Please join me in welcoming Mary Clay as she opens our ceremony this evening. Thank you, Dr. Barker, for the introduction, and thank you again, everyone, for being here. Today is the day. Our lives thus far have been a series of interconnected choices, the culmination of which is happening right now. Each of these choices has, to some degree, shaped who we are. Since the first time we were all gathered together, legs crisscrossed applesauce on the DMS gymnasium floor, to the last. We have changed and grown together. Through frantically searching for someone to sit with at lunch on the first day of middle school, to finding solidarity with our classmates in receiving less than perfect test scores, we have spent our most formative years together. We have uncovered ourselves through our experiences with each other. Today I'd ask you to reflect on all of these experiences, good and bad, and understand that those moments are what led us here. Many of us learned how to read and write together. We learned numbers and addition and subtraction and third grade cursive, which most of us subsequently forgot. Then middle school came and our five elementary classes came together. You probably remember the t-shirts we received before our first day of sixth grade. All of them read Downingtown Middle School Lancers on the front. Though each elementary school had a different color. These shirts showed that though we all came from different schools, we were all Lancers. Now I don't think it often crosses any of our minds whether we met each other in first grade or sixth. We're all Whippets. When we entered into ninth grade, we entered together. Today, when we leave high school, we leave together. As freshmen, we wandered apprehensively through the halls, getting lost in the square an embarrassing number of times, our backpacks filled to the brim with binders and notebooks. As sophomores, we thanked the heavens that we were no longer the youngest in the school, and we waited in anticipation to be upperclassmen in the next year. As juniors, we felt swamped with the stress of standardized tests and the peak of our high school workload. And as seniors, we scrambled to figure out our future plans, whether it be researching schools or finding the perfect job, as well as juggle our high school duties. I think we all can agree that our class is exceptional. We've succeeded academically, athletically, musically, artistically, and more. We've given back to our community, with many of us contributing many hours to volunteer at events like Camathon, the Red Cross Blood Drive, and the Mr. West Pageant for Charity, which donated $3,000 to the Lord's Pantry and $1,000 to For Pete's Sake Cancer Respite Foundation. We've also donated to charity drives, like the National Honor Society Baby Bundles Drive, and the school-wide charity drive, which collected non-perishable products and household goods for the surrounding community. We've done a lot. But no matter how we've chosen to devote our time in the last four years, whether it be hours on the softball field or in the weight room, or late nights laboring over sheets of music, or energy poured into artwork, we have forged our own paths. We have learned, 
and matured and evolved. Through our successes, we have learned modesty and we have learned poise. Through our failures, we have learned resilience and we have learned valor. In the forthcoming years, I hope we'll all look back on our high school days fondly. Perhaps we'll recall squeezing too many people into bleachers during the East-West games. Or we'll remember the phenomenal rendition of the Little Shop of Horrors, or the unfathomable talent exhibited at the Living Arts shows. We'll think back on wing nights at P.J. Wellahan's and mornings at Shady Maple. We'll remember our homecoming dances and our proms, and we'll remember our graduation. Today is for us to remember the past, to celebrate the present, to dream of the future. Yet I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge all of the people who supported us and inspired us to reach this point. First, I'd like to thank our superintendent, Dr. Lenardi, and the school administration for their extensive support in the last four years. You've fostered an environment at West that was conducive to our growth and achievement. Thank you to the people who deserve a wealth of recognition, our custodians, our administrative assistants, our lunch staff, our security officers, our paraprofessionals. You are truly the unsung heroes of West. To our teachers, thank you for equipping us with the skills we need to thrive. You have encouraged us and pushed us and believed in us. We'll try our best to be worthy of all the energy you've expended helping us. Thank you to our families who have cared for us and provided for us since the beginning. I cannot even begin to convey the vast gratitude we feel for your guidance. For the last 18 years, you have been selfless. You give and you give, and when there should be none left, there's more still. Your love is limitless. Thank you for your patience and your kindness and your faith. I'll leave you with the words of the former law professor, Michael Josephson. Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey. Graduates, today is the beginning. It is our turn to see how far we can go, how much we can do. Endeavor to dream, to triumph. Know no bounds. But no matter where life takes us, let's enjoy it. Seek happiness first, and success will follow. Thank you. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the DHS West Orchestra, who will perform a selection from The Greatest Showman by Ben Spisek and Justin Paul.
Grunwell, and I served as co-president of Student Council and vice president of National Honor Society this year. For the past three years, I have loved being a part of the West community, and it is remarkable to witness a Downingtown alum who has embraced the community. Mrs. Joyce Castaldi and her husband are graduates of the Downingtown High, Sch High School's class of 1977. They have three children who graduated from Downingtown schools and she is a firm believer in staying connected to the alumni community. It is now my pleasure to introduce the chairperson of the Downingtown Alumni Scholarship Committee, Joyce Castaldi. Good evening and congratulations Downingtown High School West class of 2019. I am here this evening to representing the Downingtown Area High School Alumni Association. The Downingtown Area Alum The Downingtown Area High School Alumni Association is one of the oldest continuously active public high school associations in the United States. Founded in 1884, we are 135 years old this year. Some of you in the audience this evening are members of our association. Class of 2019, upon graduation this evening, you too will be a member of our association. Our purpose is to support various activities to honor our high school students from all three high schools within the school district. Here are a few of, a few of the activities. For one, we sponsor the homecoming programs. We also sponsor the Battle of the Brandywine East versus West football rivalry. More recently, we host the Downingtown Area School District Hall of Fame, recognizing alumni that have made a significant impact on our community. And finally, we provide a $2,500 scholarship each year to one student in each of the district's graduating classes. Which brings me here this evening. 
It gives me great pleasure to present this $2,500 scholarship to Dana Hallahan. Congratulations, Dana. Thank you, Joyce, and thank you to the Alumni Association for your long-standing tradition of supporting the students at Downingtown West High School. Well, speaking of alumni, before we go any further in our ceremony, I'd like to give special recognition to our golden anniversary alumni from the class of 1969. There we go. Tonight, we are proud to take a minute to remember those days and to honor the members of the class of 69 who were able to join us here this evening. Before I read their names, this year I would like to extend an additional thank you to Price Stevenson for his continued audiovisual support at commencement and the entire class of 1969 for raising over $3,000 in scholarship money, which was presented to all three Downingtown High Schools. At this time, I would ask you to please stand and be recognized when I call your name. I will ask everyone to please hold your applause until all names have been read. We've got about 30 of them tonight. Here we go. Sam Acker. Marsha Anderson, Mary Bowman Rice, James C. DeWeese, Donna Dinwoody Wilt, Charles M. Dumont, Martha Dunlap Brumall, Roger Edwards, Hugo Ficka Jr., Larry Falachi. Christine Guerra Amariello, Catherine Godfrey Bennett, Kate Holman Campbell, Robert Hart, Laura Jackson Terry, R. Scott Kimmel, Carl D. Lambert, Timothy A. Mackey. Brenda Madeira Watkins, Daniel V. Massimini Jr., Susan Pickwick Massimini, Andrea Migdal McDenaman, Anwin Menace Terry, Ken Terry. Patricia J. Paisley. Stephen R. Phillips. Brenda Showalter Edwards. Price Stevenson. R. Daniel Williams. Darlene Dinwiddle Dottress. Cynthia Wolf Marriott and Cheryl Dirk Wirtz. Let's give them all a round of applause. <laughs> Welcome back and thank you for being here with us tonight. Your presence here this evening is a testament to the pride our community has in Downingtown education and we are glad that you could be here to participate in the commencement ceremony for the class of 2019. Thank you. Are we gonna finish a song? We... All right, all right, we're good, we're good. Here we go. And now, I am pleased to recognize our faculty and staff members who are receiving the Tradition of Excellence Award honoring their 35 years of service to the Downingtown Area School District. Please join me in recognizing the following honorees this evening, Mr. Robert Casabo and Ms. Karen Welch. <laughs> At
After honoring our alumni of 50 years and our faculty and staff who have served for 35 years, I am pleased to recognize those members of the graduating class of 2019 who are beginning their service to our country by joining one of our armed services following graduation. Graduates, please stand when I call your name and remain standing until all names have been read. Max Brown, United States Military Academy, West Point. Trevor Butch, United States Army. Nathan Daniels, Army ROTC, Shippensburg University. Catherine Delmedico, United States Navy. William Finley, United States Army, All Army Taekwondo. Cullen Gaspar, United States Army. Paul Heigl Yates, United States Army. TK McGarahan, Air National Guard. Colin McKinley, United States Army. Kathleen Miller, United States Army. Charles Norwood, Valley Forge Military College, Army, Early Commissioning Program. Owen Phelan, United States Navy. Mackenzie Shaw, United States Navy. Ben Strange, United States Marines. Christian Villegas, United States Marines. And Ryan Yezik, United States Air Force Academy. Congratulations. Before I ask you to take your seat, I would like to recognize one of our own faculty members, Mr. Daniel Hart, who will be deployed next year, along with anyone in attendance who is currently serving or has previously served in one of our armed forces. Please stand and be recognized with our students this evening. We would also like to take a moment on this, the 75th anniversary of D-Day, to remember the brave soldiers from our community whose service to this country has provided us with the freedoms that we enjoy today. Please join me as we observe a moment of silence. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for your service. And now is the part of the program where we three assistant principals have the privilege of recognizing our seniors who are graduating with honors. These students have earned a GPA of 4.0 or higher, impressively maintaining an A average throughout their high school career. The first group of students has excelled in their academics and earned the cum laude designation with a GPA between 4.0 and 4.19. Students, please stand and remain standing when I call your name. Lauren Ardell. <laughs> Abigail Bain. Eleni Bandy. Ethan Bilecki. <laughs> Emma Kerrigan. <laughs> Allison Cook. Cameron Crawford. Brooke Daly. <laughs> Kathleen Devlin. <laughs> Olivia DiGiorgio. <laughs> Marissa Fisher. <laughs> Elena Geiger. <laughs> Caroline Grandizio. 
Sarah Gray. Julia Harple. Brianna Hart. Lauren Hoops. Erica Houseconnect. Max Kelly. Grace Kirschmar. Joshua Cotton. Daniel Kurzina. Michael Latour. Ruben Mattel. Caitlin Motts. Trinity Monroe. Molly O'Toole. Jason Rakow. Selena Siafa. Nora Simmons. Nathan Thomas. Grace Wynn. One more round of applause for all these cum laude honorees. Good evening. The next group of students has earned honors demonstrating academic excellence by achieving the magna cum laude designation with a GPA between 4.20 and 4.39. Students, please stand and be recognized when I call your name. Tulsi Ninamarthy. Daniel Burns. Emily Forsyth. Ryan Yazik. Maxwell Brown. Seth Bolenbach, Abigail Kraus, Dylan Moreno, Alexander Myers, Jenna Bianco, Margaret Shannon, Annie Urban, Caitlin Keene, Hannah Scharf, Olivia D'Antonio, Cameron Murphy, Lindsay Wallace, and Ryan Miller. Congratulations, students. The last few students have demonstrated superior performance in their academics and have earned the summa cum laude designation with a GPA of 4.40 or higher. These students represent approximately the top 3% of this year's graduating class. Students, please stand and be recognized when I call your name. Anjana Nair. Caitlin Lopez. Ryan Biskowitz. Joshua Biskowitz. Emily Resto. Krista Devane. Dana Hallahan. Eric Hallahan. Christopher Haldeshell. Mary Clay, John Hurley. Congratulations and well done. Let's give all these students one more round of applause. And now class of 2019, honored friends and guests, I have the pleasure of introducing our second student commencement speaker this evening. This young man has served as the master of ceremonies for our annual Mr. West pageant and participated in a variety of clubs, from West Disc to Avedum. He is the president of the National Honor Society and has taken seven AP courses. However, his most impressive accomplishment may be the acoustic guitar, which he built in Woodshop this year and displayed proudly at the Living Arts Show. He is affectionately known to almost everyone as Bisco, and he is looking forward to studying biomedical engineering at Penn State University next year. And in a classic display of grit and determination, he would deliver his speech this evening just two days after breaking his arm. 
Please welcome to the podium, Mr. Ryan Biskowitz. Thank you, Mr. Barr. Whippets, family, and friends, good evening. Way back in second grade, my class visited the computer lab for the very first time. After we were seated, our teacher gave us our login information. All of our usernames followed the same format. 19, first initial, last name. Now, it was not obvious to me at the time what the number 19 meant, but my teacher explained that, as we now know, it is the year we graduate. In 2008, I could not imagine graduating from high school. I could barely imagine waiting long enough to go out for recess that day. For the rest of elementary school and all throughout secondary education, I could never believe that one day we would reach the end of our schooling. And then, after New Year's, 2019 became real, and now, graduation is too. This event, which seemed as though it were an eternity away, has snuck up on us. The future holds a wealth of possibilities for all of us, and I know each and every one of us will find success. At this milestone and crossroads, however, I would like to reflect upon the journey that has brought us to this point. The experiences that we've had and the memories that we've made here at West will stay with us forever and will help shape our future. The class of 2019, in my unbiased opinion, is an exceptional class all across the board. We are a very strong class academically. In fact, our academic team uh, won Battle of the Brains this year, outmatching both East and STEM. We, yeah. <laughs> we also pushed ourselves to take honors and advanced placement courses, such as AP Psychology, AP Calculus AB, and AP US Government and Politics. The Living Arts Show displayed how amazingly talented we are. Who else was beyond impressed by Abby Bain's painting of Michelangelo's David and Chris Hattachel's handcrafted sailboat? <laughs> Our athletics program deserves recognition as well. Our football team won the Battle of the Brandywine for the first time in five years. Our girls softball team won their first Chessmont title in 10 years. Many of us remember watching the Flyer, uh, well, our boys ice hockey team play at the Wells Fargo Center in the Flyers Cup Championship. I also think of the West Disc meetings that ran past sunset. Yeah. And the marching band's halftime performances. We should cherish memories like these forever. Throughout these experiences, and most importantly, we have all made long-lasting friendships that we will value for the rest of our lives. Although school can be stressful, what I will miss most about West is just being here every day. Seeing friends in the hallway, laughing with other students in the classroom to the disapproval of our teachers, uh, sitting with friends in the cafeteria, enjoying our wonderful library. The atmosphere of the building is incredibly positive. And why is that? It can be credited partially to how great we are as people and how proud we are to be a part of West. It is also, however, in large part, due to the adults who spend countless hours at West. From the people who make sure we have heat in the classrooms, to the administrators who patiently wait for the last students to leave the stadium, the professionals in this building make West a great place for students. I have loved every teacher I have ever had because they are committed to helping students and they care so much about us. We come together every day and create a community. I will miss being here. While we have all made wonderful memories here at West, high school has certainly come with its own share of challenges. Perhaps we were unable to manage a rigorous course load without losing a, sig a significant amount of sleep. Or perhaps we made the best of a situation that seemed impossible. Every circumstance is an opportunity for growth. When we face challenges, we often just look forward to putting them behind us. Many of us, 
probably were looking forward to the end of high school. Then we move on and just can't wait for the next milestone, forgetting what's right in front of us. Graduation snuck up on me. Maybe I was just waiting for this day to arrive, and I forgot to enjoy every part of the ride. As I think back, I looked forward to each day off, each weekend, each summer break, not realizing how much there was to enjoy about school. Let's enjoy every moment right now, because the future will come. At this moment, I am honored to be in the company of peers, friends, and future alums. And I am confident that we will reach our goals. We must, however, learn from yesterday and today. It is easy to reflect upon our pasts at this young age and to learn from them. If we have regrets, we have time to make changes. In 50 or so years, we will surely all be reflecting again. This time, though, we will reflect upon our entire lives and not just upon high school. We can ask ourselves only one question at this point. Did I do my job? The answer to that question cannot be an excuse. We must live in the moment, every moment of our lives. We must give our best effort always, even if it results in disappointment. In years to come, when we are reflecting again, the answer to the question, did I do my job, must be yes. Thank you, class of 2019. It is a pleasure to welcome the West Women's Choir as they present For Good with the solo from Avery Meyer. I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn, and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them. And we help them in return. Well, I don't know if I believe that's true. But I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. Like a shaman pulled from orbit as it passes the sun. Like a stream that meets a boulder. Halfway through the wood. Who can say? 
Our graduation theme this year is based on a quote by Michael Josephson, former law professor and ethics lecturer who is credited with saying, take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. This quote challenges each of us to reflect on our journey, to recognize our potential, and to revel in the moment. Class of 2019, reflect on your journey. When you entered West as freshmen, I challenged you to look for an area of strength and to use it to push yourself academically. I also asked you to get involved, to join a club, or be part of other activities. I shared with you that if you followed my advice when you got to this moment, today, graduation, you would be able to look back at your time here at West and smile. Well, here we are. Can you do that? I'm hopeful that you can. So right now, in this moment, I want you to stop and think. How'd you do? Did you identify your gifts and talents? Did you find appropriate places to challenge yourself, to explore your potential? Are you able to remember one accomplishment, one experience, one thing about your time at West that makes you proud, one thing that makes you smile? I'm hopeful that each one of you is able to reflect and proudly say, yes. Yes, I have identified an area of strength, and yes, I have a memory of my time here at West that makes me smile. Please, hold on to that memory. Parents, as you think back over the last four years, what memory of your child comes to mind that makes you most proud? Take a second. Think about it. Now that you have that memory, I want to ask you to do something with it. I want to ask you to share it. Share, it with you, share your experience. Share your memory. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. I wonder how many of you will find that you share the same memory. I wonder how many of you will be surprised by which memory was selected. Our memories and our experiences serve as our foundation for future growth and development. And all that you have built during your time here at West will serve as your foundation for what happens next. I challenge you to consider how you will use that foundation as you move forward from here. Recognize your potential. Class of 2019, your future is bright. Your potential is limitless. But do you believe it? We all say that we do at graduation, but do you truly, really believe it? I can tell you that your answer should be a confident and resounding yes. Yes, your future is bright. Yes, you are prepared. And yes, the future can be scary and filled with uncertainty. But have faith. Have faith in your preparation. Have faith in your skills that you have acquired. Have faith in your ability to succeed. You see, faith is being sure of that which you cannot see. And while none of us can see our future, we are all able to demonstrate our faith by the actions that we take. You all had faith that you would make it to this day. Okay, some maybe a little more than others. <laughs> but you all made it. And the actions that got you to this day are evidence of that faith. Class of 2019, your potential for future success is dependent on the actions you take as you leave here tonight. So I ask you, what are you prepared to do? Are you prepared to learn a new skill, a new language, to take a calculated risk, or to build a new relationship? Are you willing to serve others, to work hard, to ask for help? Again, I know your answer can confidently be yes. All that remains is for you to apply these skills in a new environment. I don't know what the future will hold for each of you, but I do know that you have demonstrated these very same skills during your time here at West. You have chosen to do whatever it took to be successful over these last four years, and I believe that the culmination of your actions thus far, symbolized by your achievement here tonight, provides assurance and certainty that your future is indeed bright. Revel in the moment. For some of you, this comes easy. I thought about calling a few of you out by name, but you know who you are. Keep up the good work. For many of us, however, and I'm guilty of this myself, we find ourselves planning for the next step, looking for the next challenge, striving for the next achievement. Our sights 
are focused on the future and we fail to embrace the present. When we were in elementary school, we couldn't wait to get to middle school because we were tired of being around all the little kids. When we got to middle school, we want, desperately wanted to get to high school because there was more freedom and opportunity. And now, with independence almost within your reach, I have to ask, have you taken time to enjoy the moment? Look around you. You only get to do this once. Soak it up. There will always be a next thing. Maybe it's an advanced degree. Maybe it's starting a family. Maybe it's a first job. Maybe it's the next promotion. The temptation to always move faster and further is great, but make sure you take time along the way to savor each step of your journey. Unfortunately, in life, we seldom get a second chance to relive experiences. So I encourage each of you, as you walk out of Kottmeyer Stadium tonight, to seize each and every opportunity. Make new memories and add to your foundation with new experiences. Have faith in your ability to reach for new heights. And all the while, remember to frequently pause along the way to ensure that you enjoy the journey. Class of 2019, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your leadership and the way you have served as role models for the underclassmen. I'm frequently asked, Gert, how's the year? How things going over at West? I want you to know that without hesitation, I have been able to consistently say, I have been blessed with a senior class that has taken it upon themselves to serve as positive role models for the underclassmen, that has taken it upon themselves to serve as positive I'd said it, role models, and to set a positive tone in the building. That's what happens when you go off script. Guys, it has been my pleasure, my honor, to serve as your principal. Thank you. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for. Absolutely. Would those of you who are assisting with the presentation of diplomas and the reading of names, please take your places. It is my pleasure and honor to begin by reading the names of our senior class officers and commencement speakers. Marissa Catherine Bannister. <laughs> Catherine Juliet Barton. <laughs> Jenna Rose Bianco. <laughs> Ryan Solomon Biskowitz. Mary Genevieve Clay. Sadie Lauren Grunwell. Javen Michael McIntosh. And Megan Virginia Schmidt. Cameron 
James Ablay. Jonathan Richard Landis. Raphael Alacron. Owen Parker Landis. Dominic Joseph Oliva. Michael Louis Latour. Morgan Delena Alston. Shayla Faye Marie Leepertz. Lucas Scott Andrus. Haley Marie Lewis. Wesley Steven Andrus. Sophia Chen Liu. Lauren Elizabeth Ardell. Madeline Agnes Lobb. Abigail Aaron Bain. Alexa Ann Lacascio. Caitlin Elizabeth Baker. Caitlin Marie Lore. Eleni Christina Bandy. Caitlin Danielle Lopez. Kyle James Bannister. Chase Alexander Lubin. Roman Elwood Barrett. T. Colin Temeskin McGarahan. Sean Thomas Barron. Rahul Ramakrishna Manda. Angelina Nicole Batiste. Justin Anthony Marchese. Eliza Valentine Beaver. Maria Elizabeth Marion. Corinne Diane Benaric. Dakota Markle. Zachary D. Benini. Caitlin Sue Markle. Ethan Harold Bialecki. Evan James Martin. Joshua Allen Biskowitz. Rose Grace Mastrangelo. Joseph Henry Blackburn IV. Reuben Wolf Kaplan Mattel. Kyle Burke Blackburn. Caitlin Nicole Matz. Peter Joseph Bakovitz. Avery Chase Maui. Seth Daniel Bolenbach. Jacob Stephen McCarraher. Andrew Ryan Booth. Peter McClelland. Kirill Alexander Boswell. Cameron John McColl. Rachel Monica Bowman. Ryan Thomas McCreary. Angelina Maria Boyer. Tristan Andrew McCarleen. Jordan Paige Bradley. Aiden Edward McAvoy. Lucas John Bradley. Jared Alexander McIntyre. Lauren Taylor Brady. Lauren Nicole McKenna. Alana Marie Braxton. Colin Gabriel McKinley. Micah Elizabeth Brewer. Morgan Riley McKinney. Zachary Michael Brogna. Preston Tyler McNamara. Maxwell McBain Brown. David Allen McQuiston III. Annika Paige Brynaldson. Dylan Andrew Meadows. Mackenzie Reese Bundra. Stephen Anthony Meehan Jr. Trevor Chandler Butch. Avery Meyer. Shannon Rose Byrne. Anna Carnes Miller. Daniel Stephen Burns. Caitlin Riley Miller. Claire Elizabeth Calabro. Kathleen Teresa Miller. Jason Dylan Camero. Megan Nicole Miller. Allison Carol Campbell. Ryan Adam Miller. Julia Grace Campbell. Max William Minier. Sierra Morgan Campbell. Joseph Robert Mollenhauer. Gianna Marie Carlucci. Rachel Lynn Monpier. Emma K. 
Caitlin Kerrigan. Trinity Holly Monroe. Caitlin Marie Casey. Hunter Thomas Moore. Charles Matthew Kasner. Dylan A. Marino. Austin Siglowski. Dimitri Michael Morgan. William D. Christie. Lillian Jean Morgan. Dylan Thomas Claffey. Dolan Patrick Morley. Haley Elizabeth Clark. Faith Aaron Morley. Madison Paige Colbert. Abigail Elizabeth Mortimer. Aaron Alice Conti. Peyton Alexis Motice. John Gabriel Cornish. Abigail Lee Munzenmeyer. Nathaniel Joseph Cowan. <laughs> Cameron Philip Murphy. Cameron Parker Crawford. Nikolai Thomas Murphy. Jackson Raymond Cross. Rachel McKellen Murphy. Raymond Paul Kraus III. Alexander David Myers. Mackenzie Lynn Cuba. Anjana Sajukumar Nair. Andre L. Cuevas. Bryn Elizabeth Nanny. Brooke Elizabeth Daly. Siriana Janine Neba. Kevin Tyler D'Amico. Kately Ellen Nelson. Nathan John Daniels. Araya Janae Newkirk. Olivia Nicole D'Antonio. <laughs> Hannah Nguyen. Andrew James Davis. Andrew Edward Nick. Molly Teresa Angelus. Tulsi Nidamarthy. Jessica Lynn DeCanio. Ethan James Niemeyer. Louis Decola Jr. Charles R. Norwood. Mackenzie Nicolette Deegan. Matthew Thomas Nussbaumer. Catherine Marie Delmedico. Natalie Jane Olson. Justine Marie DeLong. Molly Moore O'Toole. Isabella Victoria DeSimone. April Lorraine Pagel. Kayla Ray Dietro. Matt Pancoast. Krista Michaela Devane. Lauren Elizabeth Parker. Patrick Anthony Devlin. Daniel Andre Parrish. Kathleen Rose Devlin. Neil Patel. Vincent Anthony D'Eduardo. Reshma Pathmanathan. Olivia R. DiGiorgio. Lauren Elizabeth Perlish. Alexandra Elizabeth Dilworth. Rayhan Anthony Dwayne Perry. Samantha Lynn Doerr. Julian Joshua Peterson. Mary Isabella Dotson. Owen Patrick Phelan. Lillian Alexandria Doty. Sophia Marie Phillips. Jack Tyler DeVideo. Abigail Hope Pincus. Justin Leonard Dallin. Lawrence Stephen Posner III. Emily Catherine Doyle. Ryan Prakash. Braden Patrick Dunleavy. Kayla Louise Price. Brianna Monique Durnell. Sarah Ann Proud. Logan Hayes Edwards. Jason Edward Rakow. Thomas Elliot Eliason. Patrick Francis Ray. <laughs> Casey Austin Engelhart. Allison Mary Reardon. Jessica Ann Irwin. 
Dennis Joseph Reardon. Stephen M. Evans. Riley Lynn Reagan. Brett Michael Faddis. Megan Gloria Reichenbacher. Emily Jane Feeney. Joshua Luke Remick. R. Matthew Farrar. Emily Grace Resto. Nathan David Filion. Selena Lynn Ricardo. William Stephen Finley. Evan William Richard. Marissa Suzanne Fisher. Andrew Richard Reif. Ada Marie Fleck. Nassim Robertson. Annika Lee Florsheim. Linnea Marie Rogers. Jake Murphy Flynn. Avery Josuez Rodriguez Torres. Emily Sierra Forsyth. Garrett J. Rojevich. Catherine Ann Foster. Cannon Emery Rosas. Lauren Kelly Freeman. Christian Thomas Rosecki. Owen Edward Fry. Ariane Renee San Vicente Ruda. Gideon Golden Gagne. Andres Daniel Ruiz. Brandy Marie Gar. Alyssa Marie Russo. Joseph Cole Gallagher. Bailey Elizabeth Ruth. Riley Morgan Gardner. Haley Bridget Rutter. Sophia Rose Garrity. PJ Richangora. Colin Francis Gasper. Chase Vincent Sanders. Kyle Francis Geffert. Hannah Hope Scharf. Elena Ellis Geiger. Noah Christopher Schrack. Elizabeth Diane Geiger. Julia Hayes Schreiber. Josh George. Thomas Aquinas Schwartz Jr. Alexis Danielle Gift. Joseph Russell Schaefer. John Vaughn Gillis. Margaret Suzanne Shannon. Lauren Elizabeth Glancy. Cheyenne Autumn Sharpless. Darius Javon Goins. Mackenzie Christine Shaw. Ian Theodore Gonzaga. Erica Shakuli. Samson Ernest Goodstein. Selena Simone Siafa. Fallon Michelle Gorman. Luke Christopher Cecilia. Caroline Susan Grandizio. Axel X. Silvano. Sarah Nicole Gray. Giovanni Silvano Martinez. Hannah Lynn Greider. Nora Claire Simmons. Kayla Elizabeth Gregnano. Elena Christine Simon. Eric John Grintz. Aaron Thomas Sipes. Joseph Adam Grintz. Nicholas Reed Smaler. Richard John Guy. Benjamin Michael Smith. Nyanthra Guru. Sierra Nicole Smith. Dana Marie Hallahan. Dylan Michael Smith. Eric Justin Hallahan. Megan Elaine Smith. Samantha Madison Haltum. Juliana Lynn Smythe. Michael Joshua Hammond. <laughs> Harry Declan Snyder. Ryan Connor Hammond. Zoe Sohenick. Nathaniel 
S. Hansen. Caitlin Joyce Sparhawk. Julia Renee Harple. Kira Davin Stein. Brianna Marie Hart. Benjamin Anthony Strange. Paul Geoffrey Hygliates. Gavin Jacob Strauss. Kaylee Madison Hendricks. Alexandria Marie Sumsky. Maximilian Anthony Herseglich. Callie Ruth Sunman. Cole Foster Hyatt. Alex Ryan Supli. Nicholas Joseph Higgins. William Joseph Sweeney. Griffin B. Pilsinger. Ryan Stephen Tallon. Megan Hines. Alexandru Turo. Jacob Dean Hendrickson. Tristan Donald Taylor. Anthony Michael Holloway. Patrick F. Thack. Nathan Allen Honer. John William Fellman. Lauren Marie Hoops. Nathan Allen Thomas. Christopher Jameson Hattishell. Aaron J. Thorpe. Erica Nicole Houseconnect. Mackenzie K. Titus. Patrick Thomas Howe. D'Angelo Jesse Torres. Tristan Daniel Hummel. Maxwell Harrison Trebolsky. John Robert Hurley. Samantha Marie Tuck. Matthew Christopher Izzo. Brooke Alexandra Tyree. Madeline Eve James. Ryan James Ulmer. Claudia Rose Jazak. Annie Renee Urban. Julia Fenn Johnson. Isaac David Valderabano. Ivana Juarez Reza. Justino Vieva Jr. Jacob Harold Karam. Mark Owen Villano. Zachary Aaron Cates. Christian Valdez Villegas. Molly Teresa Katzman. Parker Ann Voigt. Caitlin Molly Keen. Madison F. Vosberg. Brian David Keesling. Diane Mary Wagner. Aaron Blair Keller. Kevin James Wagner. Brennan James Kelly. Ryan Isabel Wagner. Max Burton Kelly. Lindsay Mary Wallace. Taylor Alexandria Kelly. Isaac S. Weintraub. Grace Catherine Johnson Kirschmar. Grace C. Wenner. Alyssa Micah King. Ryan Kennedy Wetzel. Andrew Joseph Nur. Evan Henry Williams. Allison Caitlin Cook. Caleb J. Willis. Sean Franklin Kors. Kean Hi Matthew Willis. Matthew Brandon Conchal. Alexander James Wilson. Andrew Martin Conningsburg. Maya Elizabeth Winterbottom. Holly Nicole Coons. Mariko Robin Wise. Joshua Joseph Cotton. Laura Tracy Withka. Abigail Ann Krause. Rebecca Lee Wolf. Aaron J. Culp. Elizabeth Dorothy Wonderland. Daniel Jan Krizina. 
Michaela Renee Wood. Cecilia M. Wyatt. Grace Merritt Wynn. Christopher Eugene Yoxic Jr. Ryan Michael Yezik. Jack Parker Young. Andrew Wayne Zyinga. Max Anthony Zeller. Emily Catherine Zindel. Caitlin Nicole Zolads. Dr. Lenardi, if you would, please join me on stage at this time. Dr. Lenardi, I present to you the class of Downingtown West High School 2019. As principal, I certify that this class has completed all the statutory requirements for successful completion of high school in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. If you would, please confer graduation on these 380 seniors. Thank you, Principal Barker. Before conferring the diplomas, I'd like to take a moment to offer my sincere and heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2019 and to your parents, guardians, family, and friends. We are so very proud of you and appreciate you taking your academic experience so seriously and continuing the tradition of excellence at Downingtown West High School. Your constant hard work and that of your amazing teachers and administrators combined with a big dose of family support are the reasons we enjoy such an outstanding reputation around the county, the state, and the country. Graduates, be sure to take time to thank all those who've helped mold you into the adults you have become. Your achievement in the future will lead back to these very individuals who assisted you all along the way. So tonight, you give lots of deserving folks a big giant hug. Please know that we all join you in this celebration and wish you unending success and happiness in all you do. Now, without further ado, will all graduates please rise. Okay, I didn't say it yet. Here we go. <laughs> by the power vested in me, by the Downingtown Board of School Directors, in accordance with the Pennsylvania School Code, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and the Department of Education, I hereby confer the academic degrees declaring the class of 2019 as graduates of Downingtown High School West Campus. Graduates, you may now turn your tassels. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you may be seated. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lenardi. For our call to reflection this evening, please welcome a young lady who has played varsity soccer for four years, 
has a passion for helping people and a love for science and math. She is an allied health and sciences student, serves as secretary for the National Honor Society, and plans to study pre-med next year at the University of Kentucky. To close our ceremony, please welcome to the podium, Jenna Bianco. Thank you, Dr. Barker. It is an honor to address the class of 2019. High school is an undefined journey, and our senior class is destined to make a difference in the world. With the support of parents, friends, coaches, and teachers, we have been able to stretch beyond our comfort zone. I would also like to thank Principal Barker, Dr. Bell, Ms. Scheidt, and the Powder Puff Referee of the Year, Mr. Barr. To my fellow Whippets, this day is a toast to our ability to embrace change and work well under pressure. During our time at West, some of us have lost cell phone privileges because we were unable to make curfew on time. And some of us may have been fired from our first jobs. Even more so, it took some of us three times to pass our driving test. <laughs> and for those of you who bribed the instructor to pass the exam on the fifth try, congratulations. Graduates, regardless of the circumstances, we have endured a great deal. Though our academic success is based on our individuality, we have left our mark as a class. Together, much like family, we have proved that there is strength in numbers. At first, high school was an unexplored territory. Today, we contemplate that the world is now ours. With our transition from adolescence to adulthood on the horizon, we have come to the realization that the walls we once thought were strange are now considered home. For at home, we felt comfortable enough to imagine the impossible and maybe show a little bit of our wild side. Students who have flourished creatively found their niche in drama, art, and music. With the performances of Stage West, we have had opportunities to laugh during Promedy and the Earth is Flat. Baseball player and artist Joseph Blackburn created pottery that was one of the highlights of the Living Arts Show. <laughs> At our annual Holocaust Symposium, the West Choir beautifully shared, I see the light and from there. Other whippets contributed to our teams and embraced the love of competition. From state championships to playoffs to track meets, athletically, we defined success. Though the rehearsals and practices were strenuous on our bodies, the warmth on Manor Avenue allowed us to enrich our understanding of teamwork, good sportsmanship, and humility. Principles that separate West from other schools include our ability to appreciate our accomplishments and our ability to demonstrate kindness. As a class, we are not afraid to break barriers. In honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the Black Student Union organized a day of service at West. We now have a club that breaks the stigma associated with mental health. It's called a VITAM, and it means that we have each other's back. Link, our leaders in action, led the Blue and Azalea trips. And interestingly enough, we found new ways to avoid being ticketed in all the lots surrounding our campus. By the way, Mr. Barr, next week, I will let you in on our secret parking techniques. Class of 2019, let's take advantage of the experiences that we have gained at West. And those lessons, small or grand, are only the beginning of our journey. Whippets, I wish you much happiness and remember that the future awaits us. Thank you.
Graduates of the class of 2019, please stand. And now, please join me in the West Cheer. Graduates, please be seated as we begin our recessional. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you. 